Let's get over to the CBS 42 Storm Team Weather Center. We're talking about Hurricane Sally now, a Category 2 storm. And look at all of the action in yeah. the tropics, even as Sally barrels toward the Gulf Coast, Ashley. Lots to talk about in the weather world. As Sherry mentioned, Sally now a Category 2 storm. That's the closest to us. It will pose the biggest problems here in the near term. But I do want to show you the rest of the Atlantic. We have areas of interest and other named storms. Tropical wave that we're watching closely could develop in the next two to five days. We have Tropical Storm Vicky and Teddy. We have the remnants of Renee to our north. Now, most of these will remain fish storms like Teddy, Renee, even Paulette, which is a hurricane and re-intensified. But Sally is what we're focusing on right now. The tropical wave towards Texas will continue to slide south towards the country of Mexico. That leads us down our name storms. We only have one official name storm left on the predetermined name list for this year. That's Wilfred. And then we start checking off the Greek alphabet after Wilfred becomes Alpha. So we probably will get there here in the near term. But today we're talking Sally. Category 2 hurricane winds at 100 miles per hour. Expected to make landfall late Tuesday night as it veers northeast Wednesday morning. Crossing through South Alabama and it is going to be a wet mess for parts of coastal Florida, South Alabama and even portions of central Alabama. Here's the timeline Tuesday 7 p.m. The eye of that storm will be just offshore of Mississippi. It will be tracking northeast at that point, likely making landfall along the Mississippi Alabama state line, barreling up a bunch of water in the Mobile Bay area. But what will be tracking Wednesday afternoon are those outer bands likely to produce not only heavy rain, but some spin up tornadoes. It looks like the main threat for that right now is south of Montgomery into the wire grass. It looks like it's going to be a rainy mess north of 85 up towards I-20. So rainfall still going to be a big part of our picture. We may not see the spin up threat as great, but we can't rule it out completely. As we move through Thursday morning, the rain begins to taper just a bit. I'll still put our greatest chances of rain very late Tuesday night into Wednesday and early Thursday morning. By Friday, the rain moves out and then we'll start to see clearing skies for the weekend. So the severe weather threat for us is likely going to be that rain, the elevated uh, the water levels there, but the tornado threat's going to be low to medium for us and then some big temperature changes after this rain moves out. So we'll remain with a weather aware Wednesday and Thursday only because of that rain of um, impact and also an outside chance of a spin up storm. Rain clears Friday sunshine this weekend and check out these numbers. We're falling into the 70s. Yes, for our highs this weekend.